Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and highly favored. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been um, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me me and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video uh this channel is very well protected and highly favored you know with the you know my oracles and my you know my guides and all that stuff so you know i'm projecting out love and light peace upliftment and harmony anything that goes against that is negative low level frequency energies that's trying to you know stick stick somebody you know deviate them from their possibilities of promises and you know anything that's going to elevate them to the next level is you know hidden intentions and anything negative is coming right back to you to send her plus times 10 so please move accordingly okay the video i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey oka's lion's gate got you fluent in that universal love language you know you're being placed and moved in uncomfortable position for massive acceleration that is so true you know we all going through these different movements you know the it's like the 8 8 portal today this is the the time to fill your your strength in so many different ways you know being able to uh you know be, you're being guided towards different things to make you you know manifest these are the things that you really need to be working on your manifestations all in positive please do not put any harm on anybody's timeline path or feeling vengeful and all it is is just gonna you know block your blessings and add more karma to your life than you already have if you've been clearing it good for you don't add nothing on there unless it's something that's gonna uplift you and put you in better places um it's really just showing you you know it, it, it's like giving you the um how can I say it? You know, you're going through different things. And this is where you put your knowledge at. Putting your energy on. You know, knowing the things that you're trying to manifest in your life. You know, you've been going through these different experiences on the do's and don'ts. You know, the more and the lack. You know, uh, what to pull away. What to let go of. What cut off. Um, and allowing yourself to be able to change the vibration of that. Because everything is like very heightened right now. Um, you're having chills, you know, spiritual chills, you know, universal uh, energies as well as uh, messages is coming to you from all vibrations. You know, uh, being able to tell yourself, hey, congratulate yourself. You've been doing so good. Even when it's like you're struggling to make peace throughout that day, that's still progression. You know, you're allowing yourself to really see things and how they can truly unfold for you. You know, not allowing yourself to know that you have to know every single thing, you know, to point A, point B, point C. But it's just like allowing yourself to go with the flow. Stop trying to control everything, you know, allowing yourself to, you know, not force doors open. I know there's a lot of different things that we would love to be doing right now, different timelines we would love to be right now. There's a lot of people uh, still going through uh, healing of separation from twin flames. You know, you're ready to, you know, go through that right now too and these are the different things that we have to appreciate through change whether you know it's good or bad happy or sad higher or low you know dark and light you have to always see things as a learning experience you know i used to have to say you know i had to really correct myself and retort like uh don't say it in a negative or you don't say this experience was negative or positive. These are the things that gave me lessons that I need to know to better myself, to heal myself, being able to recognize my own strength. Because a lot of times we doubt ourselves. We, you know, we, we uh, allow ourselves to push back when the universe is trying to push us forward. Like, hey, we know you don't know about this situation or this vibration we're sending you to, but this is something new you need to explore. And sometimes, you know, automatically, you know, fail say We remember, oh, wait a minute, hold up. You know, I never tell you, you're at that cliff moment. This is either that time they're going to catch you or you're going to learn how to fly. And he's telling us, to, you know, have more confidence in ourselves. You know, you're going through so many different things. Recognize the power within yourself. Don't doubt yourself in these situations. You are flying high. You're on a different frequency. Because a lot of times, you know, if we're seeing things, you know, they say if you're not changing the way things uh, you, there are they never change but if, when you're allowing yourself to change you'll start noticing how you you move forward in the day you know there'll be days that you could be in a funky mood just from yesterday and you have to allow yourself like okay today is a new day 
You know, what can you learn from this situation? Is there anything that you can change about this situation? Or and you say no. Okay, what what are the universe is wanting you to know about that? You know, sometimes we have to go through these little hiccups because they teach us something. You can be something so minute and so small, and it can impact us in a big way on how to do different things. And this is like they're telling you to move accordingly. You know, you're 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 here for a purpose. Your your vibration, you within a whole is you know it really matters and need you need a piece of you here you know because a lot of times we go through stuff and we be in doubt you know you're going through different things in our life and you get into that sad moment we may get into that victim vibration trying to understand why all the things have to go against me what is it happening to me and it's like we have to be able to change our words wording you know, I had to be able to, you know, I have to teach myself that too. If everything that's happening to you is not happening to you, it's happening for you. There'll be a lot of things that are drawn back. A lot of things that you will be pushed forward in. A lot of things that will go light on you. Certain things will you speed up and be aggressive on you. And this is at that time, you know, when we really want something in our lives, you know, there's a lot of time we put energy on something that, you know, we shouldn't have been putting our energy on. There'll be so many different things that happen in your life. And universe be showing you, this is not for you. This person's not for you. The sequence not for you. You, you know, hey, come back. You know, don't be over there, you know, thinking that you find a Nemo and you about to sit up here and put your hand on a Barracuda, you know, or, or, or a daggone uh, Megalodon. You don't want to do that. You know, these are those different things that you're learning from those experiences of being able to appreciate the experiences that you may have been in the dark and showing you you are always that light code that you had to be able to find yourself through there. There's always a sending, you know, a, a silver lining through the rains and the storms you become your own storm you know you are powerful more than we actually realize you know there's so many different things that you have been facing lately and it could be something like you know like clockwork and these are the different things where universe is taking you through all these changes and somehow we re really have choice words for them like look <laughs> you know i ain't really trying to go through that we know you're not but we really want you to put yourself to the test and know what you are capable of achieving through the harshness. Because a lot of times we feel like, I don't work well under stress. This is at that time to give yourself understanding. Because there will be a lot of times you were at World War 15 and didn't even know it. You know, and you're and you just walking around, you know, trying to move forward and not even know that you were crossing enemy lines. And yet you made it in some kind of way. They're telling us to have more confidence in ourselves. You know, you're, um, being able to be bold, you know, feel that, you know, you hold the heart of a lion, the strength of a lion, you know, and being able to do this, that um, you can be your own Mufasa. You know, not Mufasa because they killed Mufasa, but I'm talking about Simba. <laughs> you had that before, you know, Mufasa had passed away because I was like, oh, it, it really hit my soul when I seen that mess. With, you know, I, I couldn't believe I cried off Lion, Lion King. But then I talked to other parents like, girl, you ain't the only one I cried to. I was like, oh, my God, thank you. It wasn't me, just me because I'm like, why y'all got to be watching this? You know, it was just really messed up. But, you know, you're a part of the pride land. You know, these are the different things that, you know, really believe in yourself. This is at that time where you really need to go forward and be aggressive with that. You know what you want in your life. You know what you're trying to achieve in life. You know what kind of directions you're going to have to do. You know what certain things and certain entities and certain energies you're going to have to eliminate out of that. So that don't be blocking what is trying to come through there. We're releasing a lot of things that's no longer serving us so we can make room for what is truly deserving of us. You know, we go through different things. And a lot of times it's like we, when we look at the situations we're in, and we, you know, we all going through different situations but it's like you know we have different scenarios but we're, we're going through the same techniques if that makes sense you know we're, we're going to accept ourselves from every core from every level you know being able to believe in the power that is ma manifesting within us because that's why it brings us through all these different changes and imbalances stuff because something's trying to move and something's trying to put in that you know trying to get in where it can truly fit in where it needs to belong and you go through these different things a lot of time people go through hardship very hardship and being able to know these are the different situations you are in where you even when in the worst times it's hard for us to just grin, grin and bear it when we really are struggling, it could be emotionally, mentally, financially, you know, uh, spiritually, you know, just through things that's just draining so much out of you. But some kind of way, you, you try to make it work, you know, and that's what the universe wants you to do. Sometimes they put us in these battles, you know, and it can be battle against ourselves. You know, you, you trying to let go of the old and you trying to step in the new. And that's what we've been doing a lot lately. You know, that's when we started the pandemic and all that different stuff. And all, it, it just seemed like avalanche of mishaps was coming in. And these are the different things that really, truly challenged us to really elevate, you know, our vibration. Are you really allowing, are you forcing yourself to really see, you know, we are what we focus on. 
You know, we attract what we focus on. A lot of times we got to change our way of thinking. You know, and sometimes you can be really in that funky mood and this is at that time where see the lessons that were learned that was supposed to be learned through hardship, through hurt and pain, you know, when it comes to people that you love um, in your marriage, in, in your relationship with boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, baby mama, baby daddy, you know, life partners, all these different things, even with your children, you know, you're going through things, even when it could be for self. It could be certain things that's still really challenging for you. You may have went through something at a certain time of the year. And then when it gets to that point, it, it, you go right back to that moment. And they're telling you, you know, this is at that time. And sometimes it, it's like, I'm like, you have to be able to be understanding. There's a lot of things that can happen in somebody's life and they hit deep. I truly understand that. Because there'll be different times. Like, yeah, it's easier said than done. You didn't go through this, this, and that. No, I didn't. But I've been through some hardships that you, I would even wish on the devil. And his ass uh, deserves every hardship he needs to have because you know, he's a chaos of hell. You know? But there'll be different things that I really seen myself go through. And I didn't think I was going to survive. And in some kind of way, God, universe, my ancestors, you know, my family had passed on, you know, really protected me, really uplifted me, reminded me who I was, reminded me I loved. Even when I felt like I got so much hatred coming towards me for no expected reason, I was still loved. I was protected. These things are going to show me things I never knew I needed in my life. This is going to take me on a different elevation in my life. You can't sit up here and be making decisions based off of what other people feel feel like you deserve and what you don't deserve you can't base your your situations and your in the way of living and where you're moving based on what somebody's trying to block from you you worry about you you know these are the different times where you know what you're going through personally you know what 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 challenges you may be facing right now you know i don't understand what you're going through i understand what i'm going through and sometimes i don't even understand what i'm going through but i had to be able to allow myself to really take that time back you know because it's a lot of times you know that from my experiences that I've been dealing with, especially since I've been doing YouTube and going through my uh, healing of grief of everything, you know, it really has taught me a lot about myself. Some good things, some bad things, some shameful things. You know, I've changed so much in my life, you know, because the devil wants you to be faced on what you're lacking, you know, or, you know, what you feel like you need in your life that you don't have right now. You have to have it right now, you know, because the devil sit up here, I'll give you money, sex, all the women and men you want, all this money, all this, you know, different things that you know a lot of us you know you see what people will sacrifice just to have all that and it's like universe say you can earn these different things you know you just got to move you know they want you to be able to move to a different way you know that would be one you, you moving that way i'm like no nah, i ain't selling my soul you know, that my soul don't even belong to me at times you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to move and act accordingly you know really see you know all, all the time you don't see what you're up against and these are the different things that you really this is at a time where okay You've been going through a lot, you know, been going through a lot of things, a lot more things that you even allow other people to know, you know, even the closest of families, you, you allow yourself to keep it to yourself, you know, and you're moving through ways that you may not understand, but it's just like trust that you, you are living through experience. You are learning through experience. You're healing through these and these things are very, you know, uh, deserving of you. And it'll be a lot of times where, you know, universal place an image in your mind saying this could be your life. You know, if I put it in your mind, know that I will give you the power and the tools and the ingredients to be able to manifest this. This is just that time where you got to be very strategic. You have to be careful on the decisions you have. You got to be careful about how prematurely you may open up and want to tell certain people. And these will be, there'll be certain entities and stuff that you really need to you know keep from a distance for you to be able to get these things and you're learning that through day-to-day -day sequences on how you're growing how you're healing you're understanding yourself giving that love to yourself you know because a lot of times we give so much love that's what empaths you know that could be our, our downfall a lot of times we will give so much love to people even when it's not being reciprocated and then when it comes for us to be able to have ourselves we lack we don't have enough for ourselves we straight tapped out even there'll be times you trying to give out something in a, in a cup you know, trying to pour something out of a cup, there ain't nothing in there. And these are all those times for you to really see things at a deeper level. You know, really be able to allow yourself, you have the courage to keep moving. You have that courage to keep going to, you're leveling up. You know, you're opening up doors that wasn't there before. You know, you're being qualified for things you ain't never done before, but you are being led in that type of direction. Because universe and God know, already know, oh, they can do this, they can do that. They may not know about that yet, but I'm putting your heart 
her or him through that experience to be able to learn ourselves on a totally different level you know being able to you know challenge your own self they're telling you dream big act big and move accordingly write goals of what things that you even when people tell you nobody can tell you your dreams are too big nobody can tell you know and they'll be quick oh you can't accomplish that says who you know god sit up here and put it in my dad going like i know with through his work it'll be able to happen through universal uh influences it will happen there's a lot of times that people will be put in positions and they will be that person that spotlights a lot of things where they didn't even believe it happened. And that's where they're telling you, look at how they did that. You know, there'll be days where people shut the door on them. There'll be different days that people laughed at them because they said they weren't able to achieve that. But this is at that time to be able to know if that person can do it, you can do it too. There'll be a lot of times where, I, you know, I see people and you really trying to understand how you get through something because, you know, it's like with my situation... You know, all I got is my spiritual family. All I got is my soul family here. Some people know my story and knowing where I came from and some people don't. You know, they're just here from certain things that, you know, they done seen on here that a video or something like may have caught their eye and they resonate with it. But there are some people that have been with me since the beginning and knowing what, what brought me here. And there'll be different times I'm moving in confusion at times and I really got to collect myself because there'll be so many different things that's going on in my head. There's so many different shock of value I can't believe I'm going through. There'll be sitting things things that I, I'm going through right now and sometimes I'm like uh, is this really happening right now is this real you know you really trying to accept the truth even though that I mean that that truth can really hurt deep but this is like this is your this is your journey this is something that God placed on you it's a blessing when I can every once in a while it's like a blue moon a, a shining star you know, a shooting star well somebody will come up to me and connect like Rosalind I, I didn't go through different struggles I didn't go through abuse or nar uh, nar uh, narcissistic uh, experiences and stuff like that I had a very happy supportive family it was just something that was guiding me to a different direction that I knew there was something missing but you know this this the situation wasn't a mishap it wasn't that negative or impact me in a deathly way but it was something that moved me in there and I'm like I'm so fascinated I was like please tell me what happened and just be so fascinated because there's so many of us that have gone through hardship some kind of lack some kind of abuse um some kind of uh tragedy you know something drastic that really just shook us up you know some kind of a death that really just messed us up in a way where we just could everything was just like a war zone and this is how you found out about your truth and you know and I'm, I'm like you know I would love to hear about it because you know a lot of the other stuff we go through it, it'd be some something that'll be just pulling on heartstrings with me and I'm like I don't know how you made it because there'll be a lot of times where you feel like you have gone through some stuff until somebody open the door and tell you about their lifeline and you'll be like Oh Lord, they gave me indigestion just hearing that man. So I'm like, let me let me get water. Let me get some toms. Listen to the stuff that you're going through. But it, it's just like that strength comes through through you know desperation of something that was really sent to destroy you. It really was. And it, it, this is at that time for you know if you're still going through different things, you're still healing from different things. You know, and it you have to take time. But there'll be certain things where universe is like. You've been holding on to this situation the way you looked at this and, and you keep uh, ignoring the vibes that I'm telling you you can move up and you're still stuck on a situation where you were just supposed to see it, let it go, put it down, you know, give it what it is. Thank you for letting me know. Now I know the truth and move on because a lot of times we get focused on that stain rerun is to get out of that hamster wheel. This is their time to be able to cre create more. The devil wants you to stay po focused on this because he already know you ain't going to go nowhere with that because you're still living through that vibration that you already outgrown. And these are those times where they really want you to, A, you know, do that torpedo drift. Not really because that a mess of dangerous, but I'm just saying drift your butt into a different direction we're trying to guide you to. This situation was supposed to set you on another path, you know, move you on a different level to, for you to be able to look at things differently. Because it's like we have gone through so many different things. And it's like so many things is, that's changed or that gift of presence is it, it, it can be right in front of us. This right in front of us. It's like allow yourself to focus on something you're trying to to bring into your life you're not rushing it you're not manipulating it you, you ain't doing little cutting corners because these are the things there are certain things that you know is going to be lasting in your life that's going to impact you you ain't cut, cut corners this is something that a lot of time universe will elongate the heck out of that just to see how much your attention span is going to be this just how how much of a belief within yourself within the universal system that these are going to unfold for you 
for more than what you expected. And this is at that time we got to dream big. We got to go hard. When they tell you rest, go ahead and rest. When they tell you to move forward, move forward. When they're telling you, you know, hey, go talk to animals and, you know, the trees and stuff like that. They want you to move accordingly. Because this is at that time, really see what your worth is about. You are a warrior. The things that we, uh, us as being a warrior, you're not going to sit up here and embrace something and go through something that's petty. You know, sometimes you do. You go through something like, oh, that's what that is. Okay. But then it'll be something that's going to really shake you. You know, a lot of people, you going through a lot of things that people will not, they won't have the courage to even touch. They'll hit pavement real quick. Like, oh, no, that's too heavy. That's, that's just too much. I'm going to go that way. You know, because it's easier for, you know, different things to go in a negative way. But that's not what you're here for. You know, they'll tell you a lot of time. Many are called, but few are chosen. You are that chosen one. There's a lot of people out here just comfortable with being. They don't want to excel over nothing else because that takes a lot of work. It takes for them to change the little things, and they ain't trying to do that. That's too too much work, and that's not you can't fit in that category because you you making boss moves. <laughs> you are going through boss acceleration, and you have to be able to do that. You know, I say I love the way universe brings stuff to me because it's like with you having ADD and you got C, uh, CPTSD and all that other you know ac acronyms. And, got you all in a you know in a world of confusion you really break it down and for me sometimes i got to dumb it down dot com for me <laughs> you're like what do you do dumb it down dot com for me to break it down so my dumb ass can sit up here and listen to the stuff that you tell me about because there'll be sometimes people be laughing and be like rosalyn you sit up here and you say it's simple you know you go to somebody else like ralph smart or you know um, that was one of my influences my spiritual influences uh till swine one of my influences victor otto uh aaron dodgery all these different people that i'm really learning so much from that brought me towards this and it's like when you recognize and know your own power because you are a powerful tool and sometimes we don't realize that because we're going through so much stuff and we put so much attention on things that's like not even necessary. It's like, oh, he, you know, he yelled at me. I'm like, girl, are you okay? Okay, they were just having a funky move. Move past that. You'll be all right. They keep disrespecting me. Then you know you need to quit disre disrespecting yourself and entertaining that. Move accordingly. You know, and these different things because, you know, universe will be putting you in situations where you see people are taking advantage of you. And this is at the time, hey. Love yourself to know if this ain't, you know, taking you to that next level and making you lose sleep and making you going through a checklist on why these people are doing that. That means you need to exit that person out of your life, no matter who it is, no matter who it is, how much, how long you knew them, you know, how they related to you, how they connected to you. There's a lot of things that universe is going to have you making some tough executive decisions that's going to break your heart, but it's going to soothe your soul. And a lot of times when you notice when you exit out of certain energies and part ways with people and that, that, that it, it feel different, you don't feel like you all suffocated and stuff, that was something that you needed in your life. But you had to experience that. You had to learn through the trenches on what this was doing to you. How is this deteriorating you? You know, this is toxic for you. This is trauma bonding. This is, uh, you know, codependent. All these different things. Or you have addictions that you, you know, a lot of times when we go through hardship, we, we, we fall complacent in, you know, drugs or alcohol or opiates and all these different things. Sexual urges. All that because it's hard for us to embrace that truth that we need to just come in raw with it, you know. And a lot of times they're gonna tell you there'll be certain times, you know, because it was like with me when I go through my stuff. Yes, I used to smoke heavy on some daggone herbs all the time. Love like eight or nine daggone blunts a day, not joints but blunts, it, just because of all the stuff I was going through. And it's just like when I look back at myself now, I, it was like a couple of months ago, or even a, yeah, it's been a couple of months that I was like really going through some trigger moments, and I felt like I had to have a cigarette. And I was happy for the fact that I didn't smoke no cigarettes in like what two months now, and I felt good about that because it was like things that I was really focusing, you know, focus on where I was just like making myself heal. It's like girl. You are better than this. Yeah, it was like when you first started going around with this, there was times that you stopped smoking, period. You just eat a daggone spearmint and going about your business. You know, this saving you is like, shoot, Newport 100s is like eight, nine dollars where we at. You know, you go up the East Coast, them things almost eighteen dollars. No, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. So there will be different things. It's like this is going to really challenge your strength. Because, I mean, it, a lot of things uh, you have to really go through. And I mean, it shook me and it shook me hard. You know, because these are the things that almost tipped me over the insanity scale. And I had to be able to reel myself back. And this is like where they want you to recognize your power on every angle, every level, every frequency. 
when you know you are making some tough decisions and you already know it's either when it comes to people either i need to lose myself within them and it ain't gonna carry me nowhere i'm gonna lose this this link and gotta go so i can excel you know because a lot of times universe will test us with you know different people you know and this is just like okay if it's meant for them to come back they may have to go through their, 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 you know, we're all going through our path of acknowledgement and healing. Some of us heal, some people that, that you want to avoid that, you know, it is what it is, you know. There's a lot of different things that's going on. But then it'll be sometimes where they just have to go through their healing spell. And if it was meant for them to come back, y'all going to be on that vibration where y'all in tuning. Either one's going to be accelerated and they're willing to meet you there and be at that same pitch and y'all be on tune with each other. It's going to be perfect. Because you're learning through your lessons. You're really reading between the lines. You you know, you're allowing yourself to push through the smoke and mirrors. Not allowing yourself to be, you know, focused on the, on, on the illusions of, of different things that keeps you distracted. You know, keep you away from things that's bettering for you. You know, and you're allowing yourself to do that. But then it'll be universal, bring you challenges, like I said all the time. I've been with you for a while. I like devil and God work head in hand. But they got three, you know, two different intentions. You know? You know, God will be putting people in your way that know is not, you know, food to your soul. That mess will be, it'll be steady killing you. Like cyanide, arsenic, you know, different stuff like that where it's draining you. You keeping your mind up at night. You stressing off some things that you know you should be stressing off of, you know. And it gives you that, that situation where it's going to be, it's either you or me. I said because I'm staying up at night and I need my sleep. I need my booty rest. You know, I need to be able to get through this. I can't focus because I'm still up here worrying about some things that's out of my control. You know, and it'll be doing different things like that. And there'll be different times you where you see there's people that's always take, take, take from you. Take, take, take from you. And they're not depositing nothing. But they all, you know, they're people that want you to handle them accordingly. You know, prioritize you. You know, they want you to prioritize them. But they're not doing the same for you. And you'll start noticing, like, wait a minute, I'm putting all in this effort. I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to let them know that I'm here for them and doing this. But the question is, your higher self is going to get you. So what are they doing for you? I'll be like, Janet Jackson, what have they done for you lately? You know, because they ain't doing nothing. They ain't putting no kind of deposits in. You know, they overdrafting the heck out of your daggone account. And they ain't doing nothing for you except stressing you out. What What, what did you want to do next? You know, there'll be different things where you you know you deserve better. You got to make movements like you know you deserve better. You know, because there'll be times, shoot, I've been in toxic relationships. And even I said, even in mine, I was like, I, I wouldn't even want to tell nobody I've been in for 20 years. You know, because I did not love myself. I didn't have a man in my life that showed me what men is not supposed to do. I had to look through love in all the wrong places. Very promiscuous back in the day. Now I'm just like, shoot. Going on seven and a half years, I ain't let nothing touch me that ain't touch me. I'm, like, I'm just not doing that. I had to save myself for something that was worth doing. They got too many daggone diseases around here. I see different times where people just, I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I'm already on like, even like you stared at me too long. I'm like, hey, you about to make me go to a free clinic. That's why I keep my, I keep myself in my room. And too many energies is going on around here. And I had to act accordingly for myself. There'll be different things that you're going through in your life where you're going to love yourself better. You are not settling for nothing. You are upgrading to the highest lineages of standards. You know, you see what picking got you. Being non-picky. Settling has you. You see how, you know, where you entertain fraudulent people that called you friends and family. You know, they seen you as like Bobo the Fool. They, oh, I can tell them anything and they believe that. Or if I tell them to do this, they'll do that. And not knowing, I'm just messing them up just, just to put them out just for destruction. And you'll start seeing things. It, it's just like it's not messing with you anymore. Because you had to be able to go through this. You know, there'll be so many different people I had in my life that I, I bent over backwards for them. And I mean, it hurt my soul where I I would be that person for them. And when I needed them, oh, they act like I ain't do nothing. And I and it got to that point where I got really mad. And it's just like, don't get mad at yourself because you had a kind heart. But allow yourself to cut cut cords. Because it's going to be a time where people are going to really regret how they treated you. You know, people didn't believe in you. They're going to... You're going to be moving in ways where it's like, hey, I know that person. You know, I really know that this was a cool person. I really know that person. That was a simp. I really know that person. That was easy to take advantage of. You had to go through all these different situations in your life that will bring light on the decisions you need to make. Like with me now, you know, I help people the best way I know how. 
you know but i allowed myself to learn from different people that i've talked to you know i'll tell people real quick i love being able to help people there'll be different times it's like where i can help somebody and all of a sudden the ego get in the way and we're not noticing you know that would be you know such a heavy you know uh what do i want to say it, it was just like uh my dog it, it was like an eyesore in my life i said why do i have to constantly keep going through this i'm helping people and they you know they were you know the way they want to repair me or uh repay me is like stabbing me in my back or trying to play blockages on my life because this is something they feel like i don't deserve because they feel in some type of way and it got to that point where i said you know what i'm not gonna be helping nobody like that. i'm just do my videos respond to the comments and move accordingly because i'm, I'm tired of get, going through stuff like that and it really put me in a bad place to where you know, it, it was like, that's what the devil wants you to do, you know, but you have to understand, I'm bringing these people into your life because they needed help. You needed their guidance as that you needed theirs. There's certain things they're teaching you that they have overcome that you may be still struggling in, you know, and it's vice versa, you know, or you may have go overcome something that they may be struggling in. But I never told you this person going to be in your life for a lifetime. This going to be for a season and a reason. Don't allow yourself to get in your feelings like that because this is what I'm teaching you for. This is where you're learning. You're growing. You're moving up in life. But there will be different times you had to be able to experience this by telling people. Don't tell people what your pe you know your pet peeves are, things that aggravate you, what other people did. Because when people get into that, that vibration or whether you know, they feel in some type of way about you, you know, they're going to add that to your life. Or, you know, not let everybody about know about your story. Because, you know, sometimes, it, you know, if it views itself and, it, you know, they go towards it, that that's what they were meant to know. If not, don't be sent up here, you know, advertising stuff. Because I've seen how cold people can be when they know different things about me. And, they you know, they send vengeance towards my way, you know. And those are the different things I learned from. And it allowed me to say, you know what. Just because negative people came in like that, not everybody's going to come to you like that. But you had to be able to learn those experiences so you know what to do and what not to do. And this is what Lion Gate is showing you. You went through these different things and it's like seeing yourself at a higher level. It's not you being arrogant. It's not you being narcissistic. It's not being all full of yourself and, you know, uh, patronizing or, you know, condescending or anything. Because people feel like when you love yourself, that's being selfish for what? You need to love yourself because when you love yourself a lot, you you want there's things that's going. When you see somebody bringing something towards you, you already say, "Oh hell no! I done came too far for you to bring me right back down to where I, you know, I, it took me hell and hot water to get there." Oh no, you know, start seeing the red flags. You know, as soon as I seen it, oh 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 oh, I gotta go. You know, sometimes you know I would just like block somebody. I said no, you you know you you showing me red flags. I already see you you are about to be an issue in my life. I ain't about to do that. You know, they be trying to bring you through all that. No, I, I see what you're doing. And this is the main reason why I got to leave. Or when somebody taking it personal. Because when they showed you how they really seen you. By their action and the vibration they were projecting on you. You pull back. Then a lot of times people want to come at you crazy. Come at you sideways. And be like, no. That issue is with you. Not me. But I'm just going to handle me. And stay over there. You handle you over there you know so you're going through all these different things in life and it's where you know how to handle yourself better you be very delicate you know not delicate with your life but being very uh strict about you know your diet when it comes to energy you know the vibrations that this lingering you know even sometimes you got to check yourself it's like yeah you may be going through a hardship in life but you don't know where this hardship about to really bring you some rewards in your life just because you face this hardship the best way you could because a lot of time God will put stuff in your life like that, you know, to upheal you, you know, let you see your strength and all you do is being determined, you know. And a lot of times it, it can bring some sadness in your life and bring some madness into your life. But it's all about how you choose to handle yourself, seeing what the, you know, the subliminal was that was really being projected for you to really know in a deeper standard. And you're going to be able to appreciate these things. You know, because it's like so many times I've been doing this. I've had good experiences. I had bad experiences. I had experiences where I thought I was going to have to take a trip and meet people face to face. You know, all those different things. But I won't take that away. You know, because there'll be different people I know to come in my life. And it's just to see, oh, am I, you know, am I in that vibe? You know, what can they take away so they can try to block it with their, you know, with their, their sabotaging words. And there'll be some people that just be wanting to watch video. I still got them now. You know, and I like I tell people, I feel your energy before you get here. There are a lot of times I see it and I don't say nothing. You know, as long as they're like, did you see it? Mm -hmm. You don't say nothing? Mm-mm. 
I'm just trying to see what the heck they got going on. I, I was like, I'm, I'm seeing through here. Just because I'm watching everything, I'm seeing through here. I'm feeling through here. I am knowledge through here, you know. And allowing myself to move. You know, I went through so many different things in my life where I cut myself short. You know, really short. You know, I always put myself on the back burner because that's what I was used to. That's the, that, that was the role that I was placed in in the role that I played for a long time. Now I was like, no. You know, I know what I want, I know what I deserve, I know what's being kept from me, and I know what I'm getting back. So I'm allowing myself to be very strategic. I can move in silence and I'm going to keep moving because I'm a beast like that. You know, I had to learn from those different situations. You learn from the hiccups. So you already know how to water yourself down so that mess don't get, get stuck in your chest. You know what I'm saying? You had to be able to learn from that. There's a lot of things. If it's, you know, there's sometimes silent, the words don't even project, it should be understood. You know? There'll be different times where, you know, people would put some mess on you and come back just to see how you're doing. And just, you know, put you in a different situation. You see how they try to sit up here and see if that magic worked, right? Okay. <laughs> it was like, well, you already know where it came from. Send that mess back. You know, all in love and light and ha-ha, <laughs> kumaya, whatever. You know, and keep on moving. And these are the situations you had to go through. You know, they put you in some, you know, universe. Uh, see, like, they'll add more to it. And I'm like, look. Man, you going to have an issue because you already see how it almost took me through heaven and hell. And it felt like I ain't never got a, you know, a destiny to he heaven when I'm stuck in hell with all this stuff putting me in. And I finally got into peace and then you send me back there again because, yeah, I'm you that warrior. This is the one I, I sent you there. Yes, I did. I'm like, what the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> you know, I'll be mad as I don't know what. But then it'll be just like, this is what God wanted to know. You, I mean, you rough and raw with it. You know, you a beast in so many different ways. I need you to recognize who you truly are. Because you don't forgot. And this is how I'm going to send you to it. Because I'm sending you out here to war. You are at a battle in so many different ways. You got people heading for the hills. Not even, I'm like, man, I ain't about to touch her. Something wrong with her. She's been here before. Many times before. Uh-uh. I ain't trying to do that. I don't heard about her like that. I don't heard about him. Did it? You know, and all these different things. And this is where, you know, you are speeding up timelines. Things, you know, and it's like where I'm feeling now. With other people, you even manipulating timelines, and don't even realize that's what you're doing. You know, there'll be something I'll be telling people: you have gone to the kitchen, and you spaced out and forgot what you were doing, or you can be in a conversation and forgot what you had doing. You even realize you don't jump the timeline. I'll be like, damn, what the hell I coming here for? And you don't jump the timeline. Things will fill up how it speed up. You manipulate. You even manipulate the weather. That's how your vibe is vibing. You know, and all these different things. Universe is bringing that line to your life to see you roar. You know, that's what they're telling you to do. You're manifesting so many beautiful things right now. Even people manifesting hardship through your life. You know, you move accordingly. You still send blessings to them. They still got some lessons they still need to learn. You know, me, I'll be like, I'll be straight raw and I'll cut with it. I had to learn how to stop doing that. Because I don't know a lot of people like, hey, hey, Ross, my God, this, this, and this, and that. Oh, you showing comparison again, huh? Oh, your insecurities, you're protecting me, huh? Okay. No, oh, congratulations. Well, I'm supposed to be mad. And people get mad because I'm not jealous. I'm not mad. Why would I? My blessing is my blessing. Your blessing is your blessing. I'm still trying to face mine. I'm still healing to get mine. I'm getting blessings all the time. I just don't have to announce it and just go on about my business. But you come in here with me, you always show me there's some places you need to go back and keep on healing that. Because the way you coming at me like that, it ain't got nothing to do with me. It's more about doing with you. You know, and go ahead and handle yourself accordingly. And you'll start seeing more of what you were doing before and what you were doing wrong and the things you need to change about yourself. And it's just like you have to handle yourself accordingly. When you want something, you got to be aggressive. You have to want it more than the people that are trying to stay in your life to make sure you don't get it. You have to be able to do that. There's different ways you're going to have to move differently. Sometimes you're going to have to move like a thief in the night. Some things you, you know so much and yet you be so quiet. And these are the different things they're showing you. You got to move different. You know, because you about to be formed different. You know, universe ain't going to put no weak person in a situation where they know they can't overcome it. A lot of times we don't have that, 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 that encouragement that we, you know, universe and our ancestors and our family done passed away that's helping us from the other side see. And that's why they'll put us in certain sequences because they want you to see what they already knew from the beginning. They don't want to pick nobody that know they're going to be, you know, running from a tail between their legs. That's why they put you in a harsh predicament, you know, because there's, just, just, there's a lot of things that will be put in somebody's life. They don't look like there ain't no way in hell you can sit up here and bring a sunshine, bloom, something beautiful can come out this hot mess of a situation. But sometimes you end up doing some stuff that even shock you half of the time. You got to be... 
and going about your business because they, they picked the right one when they got you. You know, we just, a lot of times we have to go through the hiccups. We have to go through the madness and sadness. We have to go through the worst of the worst and still know this is what's going to build you up. This is going to make you fierce. This is where people, you know, they they going to have, it, it'll be people that know you for 20, 30 years. And they're going to have to introduce themselves all over again because you ain't going to be that same person. There will be some people that are just still stuck on that old Rudy Pooh person that they had back in the day. And they come at you the same way. I'm like, oh, you better go back and handle me accordingly, baby, because I ain't going to talk to you if you come up to, you know, projecting that mess at me. I don't be dealing with that. You know what I mean? I don't be doing that. And you have to be able to move. Because there will be sometimes people will be stuck in that same situation because they don't like the fact that you... You doing something that's best for you. You're not going to do something detrimental that's going to throw you 10 million places back when you don't went 20 million paces forward. And even surpass that. You transcending. You went, you know, you're doing way past what you expected. And you did that through learning, through growing, forgiveness, understanding. You have to understand there are some people that are just stuck in that war. They feel like they don't have the courage to, to you know, move past that. And it's sad that we're, you know, I'm not trying to put nobody down because there's sometimes, I've been there. You know, people get pissed off when I say that, but I, I can allow myself to open up, I've been there. I felt like I was going through, that. there ain't no way I can get out of my own destruction of myself. I was destroying myself by my choices, around the people I let in my life, different things I was talking about that I showed shit and talked about because it was like, enemy was moving, moving in numbers. Trying to get to me, trying to see what my next move was. Sitting up here getting mad and telling some stuff and wondering why stuff was getting blocked left and, left and right. You know, sitting up here being proud of certain things and pinnacles I reached where people were low grade hating on me to make sure it didn't go nowhere else. You know, and I had to learn from those things. And you're doing that from the situations you're in. And this is just like, look how your life has formed the way you are right now. Even though you are not exactly where you want to be at, you, you may surprise yourself. You may surprise yourself because this is that, that time where universe is really bringing that roar out on you. It's like you be, you are the king or the lion or the lion, lioness of the proud lands. You know, you're doing this. It's, it's like we're only in our own simulation or whatever they're trying to put us. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to label us and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't got no label. I'm just me being me. They're like, what do you do? I do everything. I do a lot. You know, it's like what, I'm a gift of all gab. You know, I, I'm a jack of all trades, whatever you want to call it. Uh, uh, multiverse it's just multiverse with me you know and you're doing those different things you know and I love to be able to share experiences with people because there's a lot of times we're stuck in confusion there's a lot of times we don't realize we're detrimental to our own self by what we choose to consume through our thoughts how we speak to ourselves how we speak to others how we place judgment on others you're just being able to say you know what I make mistakes we all do you know, there's a lot of things that's hard for me to handle right now, but I'm handling them the best way I know how. When I know I'm not, I'm projecting out negative energy towards people, you handle yourself accordingly. You don't, you don't want that energy coming to you. So you have to allow yourself, hey, what do I need to do to get out of this funk? You know, what, you know, exercise that is going to be positive to move? Because, you know, a lot of times you may need to watch something that's funny. You know, to me, it's like when I get pissed off, you know, I can't handle something, I go watch a, a horror movie real quick. And I noticed that my kids be doing that too. <laughs> like my youngest one, like, Mom, I'm about to be. I was like, Where you at? It's like, What well, you know? Because you're doing the same thing I do. If I'm not going to jail. I, you know, I ain't. You know, I can do some things, but I ain't trying to do some things. I know I can watch a movie and I ain't got to worry about sitting up here, you know, doing it, uh, you know, 25 to life. So let me go ahead and watch this, you know, make me feel better. Or doing things that uplift my soul. You know, because a lot of times they tell you, you know, you got to be careful what you watch. You know, you consuming that. You embodying that. So you have to watch different things. You know, and you notice that your your timeline is changing by the different, the, the cravings of taste you have. And I'm not talking about in food, drinks, and stuff like that. By certain things, you're outgrowing. You know, there'll be different people. You know, like with me, I used to, you know, me and my girls, you, you know, get off of work, come over here, you know, roll one, be talking to Bob Marley, shut up, you know, and those different things, and have, you know, throw us a brew or two, you know, up in the air and be going, gossiping and stuff. Now, it's just like, where are you at? I don't smoke weed. <laughs> it's like, do you drink? No, I don't. Like, girl, you a mom, are you pregnant? No. It just don't interest me anymore. It ain't no judgment towards anybody else, but that just ain't me. You know, you'll start moving. You know, because a lot of times we feel like, man, you know, I've been doing this, this, and that, and stuff still ain't changed. You know, it's like you got to change how you see things. Because a lot of times, you, you know, we because we don't have directly what we want, so we feel like this is what I'm in right now. 
and good and a lot of times yeah it's like that but this is where universal have you going through something you had to go through that preparation you know, I isolated you. I put you on to yourself because you needed to learn yourself on a whole new level. You had to, you know, break away things that are no longer serving you. You had to sit up here and go through different things to make you, you know, move in different ways that was truly, you know, beneficial towards you. You know, you're you're moving in different ways that you didn't expect yourself to do that. You be shocking. Because, I mean, a lot of times you can have enemies looking like... What they got going on? What? You know, and it'd be really trying to, it would be really shaking them up. You know? And a lot of times, it's just like, you, you know, people will sit up here and throw something out just to get your, to see if you're going to be triggered by them. Like, you know? And it, it could get really uh, annoying to you. Like, why would people want to trigger me? Why would people do it? Because they're miserable. Misery loves company. Like, I tell people, I ain't about to RSVP that. No. <laughs> well, I see where that takes me. I'm, I see where it makes you go at. I'm not trying to do that. I'm going to say prayers for you. People are like, oh, you know, you don't wish something on me. No, what you put out to the world is what comes back to you. And people don't believe that. That's why I was just like, even the people that I really want to send a haymaker to, Molly Wap the hell out of you, skull drag, from one end to the earth to another. But I'm just like, no, you ain't got to do something like that to somebody because they're already in their world of pain already. That's why they're doing the stuff they're doing. Send them love. Give them that peace since they need in their, their mind to allow them to navigate through that. They can do that if they go to the root of the source to make them want to project that message in the first place. And not it's not easy for everybody to do. You know, and like I tell people, I've, I've been there. It was hard for me to have to accept a lot of things I had to accept because I really felt I was going through nervous breakdown after nervous breakdown after nervous breakdown. And now it's just like when I see things, you know, it, it's going to trigger a lot of people that want you to stay in that low vibration because that's where they choose to stay. But it's like when you allow yourself to look at it in a in a uh, a healing format, it's like okay, they're trying to trigger you. Okay, people trying to get up under your skin. It's going to happen so much where it's going to show you where you need to heal at. You know, if something comes up and that person you comparing yourself, okay, that when you compare yourself to something like that is making you feel like you're irrelevant. People look at me like I'm mad. I said, oh, so you feel that way about yourself. Because I said, I ain't say nobody's name. They're you know, like, oh, no, you didn't. You act like you better. No, I didn't. I just said an example. For that to trigger you, that shows you your, that's your trigger. You know, you can have people sit up here. And it'll be, I look back. And I'm like, dad, they really wanted to see me in pain. They want call, you know, call me, video chat, want to do stuff. Like, oh, dark 30 in the morning. Like, you will think about, oh, you know, that's the anniversary of such and such and such and such. She, she's still healing on it. Let me go see how she acting now. That's some sad stuff. You know, and people would really be like that. And it'll be at that time where you have to see people at war with themselves. You can't put no raggedy stuff on somebody and wish somebody worse when they already projecting that within themselves. You can't put somebody in pain that's already projecting through pain and moving through pain. But you're going to appreciate all those things that they keep trying to piss you off with because eventually they don't know. Now I tell, and people get mad at me, my enemies get mad at me, it is what it is. But you don't realize, I appreciate you. Because everything that you're doing is trying to go out their way and hurt me is healing me. Now what you will hear the people say on different videos, when your enemies is coming up and trying to find a different strategy and they move in strength and numbers because they really want you all in your all in your feelings about stuff. And when you stay they calm, they, they got to go regroup because they don't know where to hit you at. This used to make that person mad. This used to do that. Yeah, you got access to the whole person. I'm really seeing how you're doing it because you really want to get up under my skin. When people can't control you, when they get mad, and I'll tell people real quick, when people throw something in your way to try to confuse you, distract you, because they don't like the way you're healing. They don't like the fact that you have become to that person you can't manipulate, you can't control. You got control of your own actions. And it'll, it'll be one of those things where you see it happen so much with people trying to piss you off and doing things that used to get on your nerve. That's why I tell people, you, if you're dealing with some narcissists, rule number one, please don't tell them what aggravates you. Because as soon as the things they'll be trying to, oh, I didn't know, I forgot, oh, you know the hell they didn't. They woke up trying to see how am I going to piss that person off today. Allow yourself to know you want to be grateful for that person because they're helping you heal the things that was holding you back. So they're, they're actually speeding up that timeline for you to get to that next level. And that's not something to be thrown a, a, a gab at somebody, you know. Somebody will probably feel that way, but it is what it is. I appreciate my enemies that go out their way to try to piss me off. Because that's helping me heal. And I'm like, thank you, you don't even know how. And then I'll be feeling good. It's like, girl, you know that you ain't even get pissed off that. Because you seen exactly what they were doing. They were waiting to see if you are going to say something. Don't do that.
uh, let the universe handle that. You, this is your moment in time where you focus on you. Don't be focused on what boo boo and poo poo and all them trying to do to make you mad. You focus on your growth. You focus on your healing. Send prayers towards that those individuals that you know that need help more than you do. Well, they ain't gonna like you because there'll be certain things they put on you and they trying to understand how the hell you got through that with God, with patience. With universe, with my guys, with my spirit guys, my tribal ancestors that are strongly connected to me, that watches over me, that guides me, that uplift me. Give me that reassurance. Yes, it may take time. Yes, it's going to be some different hiccups, setbacks, mistakes, failures. That's okay. This is what you're doing to grow. Because this is like this line gate right here. It will have you looking at everything from a new view. You know, when you're seeing stuff. When you know if you're looking at everything in a negative way, you're still in that negative space. You know, it be different times. They know you getting annoyed because especially when you've been putting that work in and you trying to see what what's the hold up. You know, and it's just like it takes time. Even though you really ready to slap the mess out of God and universe and all that, but like please don't do that. <laughs> you trying to get somewhere. You ain't trying to get set back. Don't do that. Don't they'll, they'll be punishing yourself. But you have to be able to patience. I hate that damn word, but patience. You know, you have to be able to do that. Because this is that point when you waiting for something a door to open for you. If God making you wait, it's gonna be for more. Don't ever think that God don't see what other things is going on. When you, especially when you see something, you know, this person really trying to drag me to the trenches with them because they're doing this. And it's like people want to bring me that because you're at war with yourself. Or people want to sit up here and want to rub things in my face about what they got because I don't have, you know, you, you have, you, there, there's a lot of people like, why don't they like me? You have to understand they don't like them either. You know, there'll be different times people really hate themselves. This is the reason why they're doing stuff like that. Normal people that got peace in their life and, and, and love in their life, they're normal, they don't do that. That's normal people that sit up here and want to encourage you because I knew what it felt like to be slept on. You know, I had people that, you know, I do something good. I always broke my neck to try to, you know, get parental approval. You know, people see that and don't even want to give me that, you know. And I had to be able to learn. You, you celebrate you. You know, a lot of people ain't going to do that. But celebrate you. It will be different times where God is going to take you, everybody out your life. Because it's like they don't need to have access to you. They're going to be more of a hindrance. They're going to do more harm than good to you. I'm bringing people that are on that vibe with you. I'm going to bring people in your life that's going to manifest you. I'm going to bring people in your life that wants to see you do good. Want to get into your behind when they feel like you're slacking. They're like, hey, God, I don't see someone. What are you doing? I was going to feel like doing this some lazy today. Now I'm like, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to give you today. Because I know you may be going somewhere. I can feel your energy a little bit off balance. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. Some coupa, ya ya you know, send you some universal uplift. And I'm going to let you do you. Coming back tomorrow, we're going to be a whole different. You, you had that day. Look, this is a whole new day. You know, because there'll be sometimes we down in the dumps. You know, you're going through all these changes. It'll make you go through depression. you irritable. Your body's off balance. You might have some gas stuck in all the wrong places. And you, you really, you know, your equilibrium's off. You ain't calibrated like you need to be. And, it, you know, you're going through those changes. That is normal. But when you get to that point, you'll want to have people in your corner who want to see you grow. You know, want to see better for you. Because there'll be sometimes people see you, they good until you, they'll support you all the way when they know they benefiting off of you. There'll be good ways when they know they want to be in your face because they know they want something. Or they'll be one of those ones that go all the way out for you. And as soon as you make it where it is, they wouldn't be out here without me. I didn't give them all that. You didn't have people like that. But then real folks, you know, I'll tell people real quick. I want to see people when they people give me, you know, side. I'm like, that's how I feel. Because, I mean, you only one star in the sky will look pretty boring. All of us can be happy. You know, and I'll tell people real quick, that's my quote. All of us can be happy, but it's not based on what misery you're trying to bring somebody to. Because that's not being authentic game, being real. And the same stuff you're trying to place on somebody else is going to come at you, but it's going to multiply. So you, you have to be at that, that, that different vibe. And when you vibe in different, you know, more different stuff will come to you. When you're allowing yourself to be your own best friend and be okay with just being you. Because I used to be that type of person. I look back, I used to love being in clubs. I used to, I couldn't stand being by myself because when, when stuff started going around in my mind, I wanted to keep myself occupied. I wanted to ignore the things that I clearly needed to get right within myself. And when I do that now, I love being by myself. It's a comfort. You know, yeah, I get lonely at times, but it's just like, I want to make sure the people around me got the same kind of vibe that I want to give them that they giving me. Ain't no kind of stuff where I got to, you know, be selective about what I talk about. Because if I know I got to be selective with you, you're uh-uh-uh. That'll be just my intuitive saying you need to back up. 
<laughs> you go ahead and send them love and light. You just gotta go, you know, and do those things. But this is at that time. See things in a different accord. Dive deep. Universe is saying there's something that, that you really need to strongly connect with on a, a high universal level. This is your time to shine. Don't be scared of the unknown. You know, a lot of us we do that. It can be scary at times because we don't know what's around that corner waiting for us. You know, but these are those times the universe ain't gonna guide you towards pasture. That's the devil and that's your enemies. God is sending you towards something that either is gonna is gonna blow you out the water or it's gonna take you to a whole new planet. Move accordingly, okay? I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, you know, being able to have a deeper understanding of your path of purpose, you know, what where is it guiding you to, different things that we can talk about that you may, you know, want to, you know, there's a lot of people that tell me different things they're going through and they're just trying to find some kind of meaning towards it. And I, you know, I work on the best way I can, you know, whatever we speak on is confidential and, you know, and let it do what it do. If you also go to my community page, You'll see my podcast that I placed on. Oh, no, I haven't did nothing in a while, which I need to move on and go ahead and put some more on there. But there's still a lot of them on there if you would love to listen to it. It's on the community section. And if you feel you're just enough to donate, you know, Cash App is right here in the description box below. And whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, move accordingly. Do not give up on something that you can't go an hour without thinking about. Well, you can't go a day without thinking about. If you get to that point where you're heavy in your burdens and stuff like that, allow yourself to take that break. Recalibrate, reset, recharge, rejuvenate. When you come back, you know, if there are certain things that just ain't working out in that way, ask for guidance for that. Cause it could be something very simple that you have to go through a different direction. But do not give on something that universe planted in your mind that you can manifest. Because the devil will make you sit up here and doubt yourself, and the enemy will make you doubt yourself so many times and make you want to give up today because you had your blessing and opportunity to open it up tomorrow. So don't sleep on yourself. Stay woke. Be productive and conductive and you know determined and motivated to go ahead and bring out more than what you expected you know even through uh social distancing you know make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you just never know all those things that really take you know someone a long way and just because you did it without even wanting anything in return it will take you even further so much love to you peace namaste shalom i say i bless love